Hello guys, welcome. This is my first video in 2023. And this video, I just wanna show you how you can create simple edge calculator on Jupyter Notebook using IPY widgets. Jupyter Notebook supports plenty of features like IPY widgets uh, to create uh, interactive uh, layouts on Jupyter Notebook. Basically, we use IPY widgets to just control our data. Uh, in other way, we can also uh, create simple app like edge calculator using IPI widgets. Uh, for example, let me show you this uh, date picker. Uh, this date picker uh, is uh, created using IPI widgets on Jupyter Notebook and you can pick date of birth uh, from date picker and uh, it just calculate the age um, by subtracting from today's date. Okay, let me, let me show you. For example, uh, let me pick uh, date of birth from here, uh, January 28th and it just calculates the age uh, 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 using this age calculator app and it tells you, you are eight years old, for example. If you select, uh, for example, if you select or pick the date of birth, which is uh, greater than today's date, for example, today's uh, 2023 and if you pick 2024, so it just tell you it should be greater than one. So the date of birth should be uh, greater than, I mean, less than uh, today's uh, date. Okay, let's get started. First, you have to import the IPA widgets here. Okay, now once we import the libraries like date time library, this is important to just uh, get to the state and the IP widgets. And we can define our function that calculates edge. This function uh, should take a parameter uh, which contains date of birth while we pick from uh, date picker widgets. Okay, let's get started. Okay, now I have just defined the function. The function takes state of birth and uh, this function uh, calculates the age here, uh, which holds under the, which is handled in the try cache exception. And if here age is greater than or equal to one, just uh, print this out, you are uh, dash, Edge years old, and uh, else if edge is under, if edge is under the or uh, less than one, it just print out edge should be greater than one. And the exception handles if you didn't uh, select the date of birth from date picker widgets, so it just tell you to. 
peak date of birth. The next step is just uh, create IPI widgets uh, outside of this function and we call the function in the IPI widgets. Okay, let's go on. Okay, here I created the IPI widgets. Uh, the IPI widgets is just a uh, peak state of picker. And this is a description that passes as a parameter to that picker function. And now the interactive outputs in the IPI widgets call the function as a parameter. Here we defined above. And the uh, date of birth is just pass as a dictionary to the function calc h and we call here there is h box horizontal box just display the date picker horizontally and uh date picker box and the date picker uh, look like this just to display uh, vertically like this okay let's run our code uh, let's try to see uh, the outputs. All right, so this is a simple uh, dialog box to pick date of birth. And for the first time, just uh, tells you pick date of birth. This is the exception because the date of birth is not uh, selected uh, from get picker widgets. Okay, let's pick the date of birth. And for example, let's pick uh, so edge should be greater than uh, one. So this is not calculated because it is under edge. So let me uh, pick edge is 2017, January 1st. Yeah, you're six years old. It just calculates and tells you you are six years old. Okay. This is interactive way of uh, just calculating edges. Uh, on Jupyter Notebook using IPI, IPI widgets. So this is very, very simple way of uh, creating a simple app project. So if you enjoyed uh, this video, uh, like, share, subscribe, and uh, uh, give feedback about this video. Uh, thanks for watching today.